Welcome to the Mortgage Brothers Team Podcast. I'm Tom Cannell. And I'm Eddie Cannell. And we're the Mortgage Brothers Team here at Signature Home Loans located right here in Phoenix. Today's topic, we're going to talk about something very exciting. Actually, I'm kind of kidding. Uh, (laughs) But it's about parts and pieces of your mortgage that are tax deductible. Now, I want to uh, go into a little bit saying that we are not tax experts. We're not claiming to be. So don't drop your taxes off to us and ask us to prepare them. We'll have no idea what to do. You will (laughs) need to find the, uh, the Statue of Liberty costume person standing on the corner of uh, one of our busy intersections to drop your taxes off. I love that guy. Yeah. No, those guys are awesome. Um, I don't know which one's better. Those guys are the guys that flip the signs to tell you to eat at a sub shop. Uh, But we just thought during this tax season that we'd remind you the parts and pieces of your mortgage that are tax deductible. So please, please, please consult with a professional before you actually file your taxes. So, Ed, you know, I don't know if there's any uh, big intro that we need to do, but I thought we'd just kind of dive in and go yeah. right, into the, right into the pieces. What do you think? Yeah, there were no introduction. Um, this is episode two of, of our podcast. So, um, Tom's already covered what we're going to talk about. So, let's just dive into it. I mean, one year ago, we were talking about the new 2018 uh, tax law that came out, and and so it's 2019 now when everyone's looking to file their taxes. So I think right off the bat, let's just say that interest is still deductible, but it's up to the $750,000 limit. Remember, it was a million a year ago. Now when we file in 2000, these 2018 uh, tax returns, it will be 750000 And that's probably, that's probably the most basic question we get. Is our interest tax deductible? Right. And that's one of the biggest impact pieces. That's right. So, so let, let's do this. Let's kind of break the conversation up into two parts. One is your mortgage statement, whether you're buying or you're refinancing, you're going to have your mortgage statement and it will consist of a P-I-T-I, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. And if you don't have the required down payment of 20% or more, you'll have PMI, which is considered private mortgage insurance. So let's just look at the parts and pieces within the actual mortgage statement. That that makes sense, Ed? That's right. That's right. So you tell me, Tom. Okay. Uh, okay. So is, is the principal tax deductible? TikTok, no. So principal is never, never Dang. tax deductible. Okay. Dang. All right. Okay. So everyone knows that no principal is tax deductible. And how about the interest? As you were saying, yes, that's the big ding ding. Uh, The previous rule was tax deduction uh, for any interest paid on a loan amount. It used to be a million. Now it's 750,000. So that's probably one of the most important parts of this podcast. And what if I have a second home? It actually applies for both second and first homes. So your primary and your cabin. Okay. So a lot of people will say, so it doesn't include investment properties? So what, not, what do we do with the interest on prep, uh, investment? Yeah, so let's let's do this. The investment category is going to be, we can potentially cover it now or in a different uh, podcast. But since you asked, the investment interest can be what they call expensed off of your taxes. So right. it would be tax deductible. Well, I guess, would it technically be tax deductible? No, it would just be a Schedule E uh, expense. You know, okay. right? So, so it, it is an expense. So forget about the tax deduction. I think on, uh, when it comes to investment properties, you're, you're just, it's a line item expense. Okay. So, um, we've talked about principal interest, uh, taxes. Would you think real estate taxes would be deductible? And the answer is yes, up to $10,000. So that is going to be for all local and state um, taxes that you have to pay, consider you know, whatever county or district you're in. Um, your total lump sum amount that can be deductible is up to 10000 That's right. So um, there is, it, when people, it, you know, there's property taxes, there's, there's taxes that you pay on all sorts of items. And I know I am a little confused about, you know, the ten thousand dollars, what that includes, you know. I think to be fair, like we always think property taxes, but like you said, the city has taxes, the county. Um, there yeah, used can, to be expenses, like when you used to tell your, you know, if you were itemizing your, you know, 
when you're itemizing, you, you know, I, I paid this much taxes in uh, sales taxes. And such mm. like so I think it includes that. So again, this is all stuff you want to run by your, your CPA. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Um, okay. And then uh, lastly, well, in terms of the interest component or the insurance component. Yeah. Insurance. This, is al- this has always actually been a kind of mystery to me. I, I've, I've always re- forgotten what, what the rule was on this. So what is it? So the rule is no. Unless you occupy a certain portion of your home uh, for a business, a side business, uh, you know, a lot of the realtors uh, in our audience that, uh, that work out of their home uh, could potentially have a small portion um, of that um, deducted. So, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. The big answer is no, but there is an exception. All right. Okay. So we talked about PITI, okay? Principal Interest Taxes Insurance. So that's the actual monthly payment component of what we're going to talk about. All right. So let's see. What else are we going to talk about? Okay. So we've gotten through the VA funding fee, the upfront mortgage insurance fees. Now let's, yeah. Now let's just talk about the uh, closing costs, um, the prepaids, and also discount points. All right. So that's right. So when, when, Anyone who's getting financing and they have a closing disclosure that, uh, you know, we send all of our customers closing disclosures uh, that that they can actually send to their accountant. And what they'll do is they can just hand it to their accountant and uh, they'll actually, you know, look at all these numbers. But yeah, let's talk about that with those expenses. What's the first one you think is most important? Well, let's talk about the uh, the less appealing one out of all those, which is discount points. No one likes to charge, you know, or pay discount points. Those are basically, um, well, not to get too technical, but they're actually interest points paid on a loan uh, that simply reduce the actual interest rate. Did I say that right? Yeah. So I guess the the IRS looks at points or any kind of discount point as basically an interest expense. That's right. It's similar so, to an interest expense. So they, they do say it's tax deductible. Then. So when you call up a, a mortgage company um, and you say, what's my interest rate? And they tell you, you know, four and a half percent. And you say, do I have any points? Those are the points that we're talking about. Okay. And those points literally are considered interest points. So because they are classified as interest, do you think that they are tax deductible? The answer is yes. Yes, right. Okay. So, so that's awesome. That's that. That's good news. I don't know if there's anything else we need to say about that. Um, there are a couple little nuances on the exact pieces of how that works, but in general, they are tax deductible. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, closing costs and prepaids. What do you What do you say about the? Uh, let, let's cover prepaids first. Yeah, you know that was something I wasn't really sure about like you know when you prepay your interest prepay well of course if, if it's interest you're prepaying i would imagine it, that's tax deductible mm-hmm. right but you don't get that statement it isn't something that you're well no wait i'm, I'm sorry you're the 10 the 1098 form would actually show that interest on the prepaid so the prepaid interest would be tax deductible okay good point and and probably it's it's really important so that you don't get you know lost in you know the the again the nuances and the terminology is if it if it says interest regardless if it's prepaid it's still tax deductible okay. if it's if it's insurance it still kind of falls into the insurance bucket yeah you know if it is um, taxes it still falls into the tax bucket doesn't matter if it's prepaid right. So, um, if we just rehearse that on the uh, on the prepaid homeowners insurance, is that tax deductible? No, no, because insurance yeah. is not. Um, are the prepaid uh, taxes tax deductible? Yes, yes. yes. Um, are the prepaid interest? Tax yes, deductible? yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. I think there's a lot. I mean, okay. So, what about all the other fees like home inspection, appraisal? credit report fees. Yeah. I feel like we almost need a drum roll because this one, you know, when Ed and I were talking about this, uh, you know, we did have to look up a couple of things and we were both scratching our heads because we hadn't uh, looked at, at, th- at this from this perspective. So, so drum roll, I'll, I'll let you give the answer, Ed. Um, are there any closing costs, whether it's appraisal, credit report, origination fee, title insurance or recording fees that are tax deductible? The answer is no. So sorry. 
Yeah. I was, I was thinking maybe one or two of those items would be. Yeah. You know, deep down in some IRS code, but as far as we have research, there's none of those are. That, that's so, right. That's right. I think that we have covered, gosh, a lot. I think that, that was a, that was a good, uh, you know, a good rundown of what it is. But again, we do not give tax and legal advice. So please see a CPA or your accounting professional. Yep. And just to recap, or not to recap, but just to kind of close this, that is for a primary home. Um, oh, right. It is for a primary home. Uh, any type of investment property, we could probably have a separate podcast. Yeah, okay. You want to cover it real quick. Well, I would just say if it's an investment property, um, it, it's it's automatically going to be an expense, right? So, so that's easy. Yeah. So th- th- it, I think it's simple. You just say when the accountant looks at your expenses now, that they might say, honestly, there might be something that isn't an expense. They might not consider something's an expense, but uh, I know that they're just going to go right through the line item, right? And then that's Schedule E. If anyone is it kind of uh, a tax return geek, you know, and they're looking at these schedule C schedule E's um, you'll just see that it's a column and it just has a, all these items on there, you know? So if, if it's, if it's an investment property and then there's, there's some type of expense, if it's, there's a place for allocation for, for it, it'll be tax expensed. Okay. Or and however you would put that, you know, the expense would be, it would lower your taxable income. So, and if you were a betting person, you'd probably bet, there's more that you could put down as an expense that you couldn't on an investment property. Probably. That's right. Closing costs. I mean, you, you name it. There's things that you can't put in there as a cost of acquisition, right. et cetera, et cetera. So right. uh, but that is a different, different ball of wax. That's right. And that probably is a separate podcast <laughs> if we ever get to that one. But um, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm good, Tom. I think we did a good job. I hope we did. And I, I hope that uh, we kept it lively enough. I know this, these are topics that are hard for people to, to kind of digest. And so we appreciate you hanging through if you're still still listening. Still listening. Yep. So yeah. thanks again. Yeah, that's right. And everyone, just remember, these. this is a podcast, but it's also audio. If this is, you're watching on YouTube, you can subscribe to the, the, YouTube, the YouTube channel and you'll get notification when everything is updated. And if you're on a podcast player like iTunes or any other uh, player like Stitcher, just subscribe and uh, you know, give us reviews. We would really help us out. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Tom. Next week, uh, we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to cover, but we'll let everybody know. There we go. Take care, everyone. See ya. Signature Home Loans LLC does not provide tax, legal, or accounting advice. This material has been prepared for informational purposes only. You should consult your own tax, legal, and accounting advisor before engaging in any transaction. Signature Home Loans, NMLS 1007154, NMLS number 210917, and 161-8695, Equal Housing Lender.